Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for supporting our channel so far. It feels great when our videos help you tackle different technical issues in your daily life. In case you're new to the channel, then be sure to hit that subscribe button below so that you join the community. Now, in today's topic, have you ever come across a situation when your USB drive is full, but it's not showing any files? If the answer is yes, then we understand your frustration. To be honest, it's common when a USB drive error that can occur on your drive can be absolutely frustrating. And since you don't see any of the data on your hard drive, it can become almost impossible to access your files, even though it says it's got some. Now, if you are facing the same problem, make sure to watch this video right to the end as we're going to discuss some ways to fix this error. Before proceeding any further, let's first understand why a USB drive may show up empty even though it might be full. In general, different reasons can trigger the problem, some of which include your USB drive contains malware or corrupted data, your USB drive isn't connected properly to your computer due to a damaged USB port, you've accidentally hidden data on your USB drive, the USB drive isn't formatted correctly. So after knowing all the possible reasons, what can you do to fix the flash drive is empty, but it says it's full? The most common reason behind the USB drive is showing empty but contains files issue is when your data is actually hidden. So before diving into any of the more advanced solutions here on this video, start by enabling show hidden files on your PC. To do this, connect the USB drive to the PC and open it. Then tap the view button at the top of the menu bar and simply tick the hidden items checkbox. If there are any hidden files, you'll be able to see them immediately on your screen. If there weren't any hidden files on your USB drive, then the next step would be to run the check disk utility using command prompt. Here's how to run the check disk utility in command prompt. Open the Cortana search box and type CMD in the search bar and then right click the command prompt option and tap run as administrator. Type this into the search box and then press enter. Make sure that you replace C with the USB drives letter. That's it. Check disk will automatically troubleshoot any system errors on your USB drive and show the current status of your USB drive on your screen. If check disk does doesn't fix the problem, you can manually check the potential errors as well. To do this, right click the USB drive and click on properties. Once you are in the properties window, switch to the tools tab and then tap check under the error checking option. Then wait a few seconds and then let the system automatically diagnose any errors on your USB drive. Then check your USB drive again and see if it's showing any data or not. If you are still unable to see any files on your USB drive, then you can always check to see if it contains any malware or virus. In this case, you can use an antivirus program to scan the USB drive and remove any malware. If you're using Windows 10, you can either use the built-in Windows Defender or install a third-party antivirus for better performance. As we mentioned earlier, an incorrect file format can also trigger the USB drive isn't showing any files or folders error. So if none of the methods that we've spoken about so far work, you'll need to format the USB drive using the right file format. Formatting the USB will remove all of your files, but you will be able to access your USB drive easily. First, connect the USB drive to your system and go to this PC from the home screen on your PC. Then right click the drive that you want to format and then choose format from the pop-up window. Now in the format box, configure the process according to your system requirements and then click start. There you go, your USB drive has now been formatted and you're able to store files again. If formatting your USB drive was the only method that worked for you though, then you might have lost all of your data. So it is advisable here to recover all of your data from a faulty USB drive by using a great recovery software like Wondershare Recover It Data Recovery. 
We recommend using Wondershare Recover at Data Recovery as it can recover files from inaccessible USB drives and hard drives with its easy and simple to use interface. It also supports over 1000 file formats, which means that you'll be able to retrieve all of your data easily. Let's walk you through the step-by-step -step process to recover your files from your USB drive using Wondershare Recover It. First of all, install Wondershare Recover It on your PC and launch the software to initiate the data recovery process. Make sure to have plugged in your USB drive that you want to recover data from so that Recover It can access it. Now select the location of the USB drive that you want to recover files from and click Next. Recover It will now start scanning the selected USB drive for all of your files. This process can usually take a few minutes depending on the size of your USB drive. Just be patient at this stage. After the scanning process completes, select the files that you want to retrieve and click Recover. You can also tap the Preview button to check the preview of each file before recovering it. That's it. You have recovered your lost data with these easy steps. Even if you have formatted your USB drive, you can still get back all of the data and store them securely on your PC. So that's how you can fix the USB drive is showing empty but is actually full error on Windows. Since it's not a severe technical issue, you can easily troubleshoot it yourself. Let us know down in the comment section below if you face any issues while trying to fix the problem. And if you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel as well and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.